Hello YouTube, this is Assassinator17 and I'm about to show you some really basic and really brainless tricks with the command prompt. Now if you're considering doing programming and looking into that, this is where you want to start. This is the really basic and kind of boring but powerful thing you can use. So I'm about to show you some kind of tricks with that. First we'll start with a bit of customization. This is called the title, this in the blue bar. You can change that simply by typing title. Let's say we want to name it command prompt. Wait a minute, spelled wrong. Command prompt. And then you can see that's changed to what I want. Now you can also change this. This is called just the prompt. We want to change this, we type prompt and then whatever we want. We'll change it to hello. And then you can see that's changed but you can still type stuff here if you want to type it back you just type prompt on its own now you can also change the background color and the font color so to do that you type color and it's off my head I think it should work yeah here we go and I don't really like this so I'm gonna just change that back back to my old black and green now we have a lot of stuff here this is clogging it up we may not want this all over the place so we can get rid of this by typing CLS and that will clear a lot of this now um, say you don't have a scroll bar like me no scroll bar here and we want to look at a list this is another useful command actually tree we'll come back to this in a minute though type tree look that, ju that all just went past me in a flash and I have no scroll bar to check it so if you want to slow it down a little bit, you type tree, as we just did before. There's this weird button, I don't know what it's called, so I'll put it in the description later. Then more, and you see here it says more at the bottom here. Now hit enter, and I'll keep going. You just hold that down so we can get rid of it now. Now that's pretty good for when you're browsing around. When you're browsing around, you can use the CMD as a browser and the way we do this is um, you type CD and then you go to whatever folder you want so let's say CD we'll go to the C drive so there you go now you're, you're not looking at the C drive but that's where CMD is going to look for whenever it tries to find a file so yeah then, and then you can use the tree command as you saw before I'm not going to type it now because that is a huge list to see what's in there and look in all the folders and see all the files just look in all the directory we'll just change that back to what we had it just a minute ago um, there we go right then um, we should probably have a look at the make directory um, the make directory uh, command this lets you make new folders and we'll just try this now, we'll, we'll say make directory mm, wait we'll actually browse to the folder I set up earlier cd folder then we'll make a new one called new folder and now if that's done it right we'll just bring it up here oh yes yeah, so here we go new folder see there you can clearly see it's a new one just delete both of those um, you can make files in a different way um, but you, I haven't I don't really like to control what's in them this could be pretty annoying depending on whether you're using someone else's computer use echo this is normally used for messages look hello world it bring up just a little message on under the prompt but you can use it to make files so you have echo a little arrow and then let's say you want to make a text file we can put new text as the t as the name of the file and then txt which is a text files extension hit enter and then that'll come up there I now have that new text file you can put what's you can decide what's in there by in between the echo and the line you can type whatever text you want to put in a text file but you don't really need to do that now you've also a very useful command you can use is the task list command task list this is like um, 
you know, the task manager, but if you don't have it, task list will do. Um, I think I've shown you just about everything there for the basic ones. I'm going to be making a new video sh soon showing about how batch works and what you can do with that. So I'll see you later.